Welcome back. I'm glad you're still with us. This is like old home week because Kathy Kennard, you've been here before too. Yeah, it's great to be back. And Kathy, you are associated with the Olympia Pie Bakers Guild. Yes. This is one of my favorite events of the year. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's coming up in February? So Pie Fest in February this year, February 25th, is going to be our ninth annual um, event for wow. the community supporting the food bank and senior services. So excited. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are so appreciative. And I know the food bank folks are as well. And more than anything, it's just a darn fun event. It is a lot of fun. We have a lot of families come, a lot of children. You know, for the pie baking contest, kids can enter and teens, so it really does invite the whole family yes. to participate. Last year, one of my young friends oh. was an award winner. Oh, it wonderful. just made her day. Yeah. Yes. To think that you could win a pie baking contest right. at a, such a young age, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So how do people, if they're thinking, oh, I could do that. I make a pretty mean berry pie or sure. whatever. How do people enter? Check out our website and um, you'll find more information about the contest. This year, we're expanding the categories. Ooh. So you can enter and compete in the apple category okay. or the fruit pie category, cream or nuts. So before the apples were competing with the nuts and the right. creams were competing with the berries and now all of a sudden you can compete in your own category. So we're excited to offer that to bakers. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so maybe somebody says, well, I don't know if I'm up for entering a pie, but how can I enjoy this pie fest? Yeah, absolutely. So if they're not entering a pie in a contest, you can certainly donate a pie to the event. We okay. sell pie slices for $3 or three cans of food. So that really helps raise money as well. Or mm -hmm. just coming down and um, hanging out. We have um, raffle baskets full of lots of donated items from businesses in the downtown area, mm -hmm. movie tickets and um, restaurant gift certificates, all kinds of ways. So you can certainly eat pie and um, perhaps win a raffle basket. All right. Well, again, I just I think there's just something hometown, really solid, mm -hmm. just a feel good event. It, it is, is a feel really good event. Good. It's um, easy to talk about in the community. We have so many people who want to be judges, uh -huh. um, who want to participate and support these organizations. and. Um, bring down their families that day. It always yeah. works out really well. Well, it's a great event and it's a great cause. Um, the food bank and senior services, it's all about feeding people. It I is. guess it's just a, a good sure. value to have. Feeding people is yeah. good. It's a sweet way to serve the community. Oh, that's what we I, say. That's a really yeah. good byline. Yeah. That's a really good. Yeah. Well, thanks, Kathy. Yeah. I remember the first time we did this yeah. nine years ago yeah. now. Holy cow. Yeah, and Eileen, next year, I'm going to bring pie so you and I can eat pie when we do this. this that would be a good 10th yeah. anniversary celebration. Absolutely. Way to start it out. <laughs> thanks, sounds, Kathy. Sounds good, thanks. All right. Please plan to have the Pie Fest on your agenda in February. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. Again, thanks to TCTV. Remember, there is so much going on. February 25th, the Pie Fest. March 12th, get your tickets for the Big Shoe Entertainment Explosions Big Show. Come down to the dances, take a trip. Did you know that in February there's a day, February 11th, which is Make a Friend Day? Well, the senior centers in our community are a great place to make a friend if you're in the need for that. We would love to have you. There's lots of friends standing by for you. So come on down and try it out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.